So a lot of times when we talk about Zelda remasters, remakes, etc. Coming to Switch or, I mean, now we probably speculate for Nintendo's next platform. There's a large focus on games like The Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. A large reason there is a focus on these games is they already were remastered in HD back on Wii U. And we've gotten most of that Wii U library on Switch at this point. So it only feels natural we'll get those games. And look, we probably will get them at some point, even if it's not until their next system. But then when people start to speculate about other games that could get some sort of remastered treatment, maybe like a Link's Awakening something, people look at the Oracle series, the Oracle of Seasons, and Oracle of Ages. But today we have something making us imagine, what if Nintendo instead remade Ocarina of Time. Now, before we get into this, I want to remind you that we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we can somehow get there before Tears of the Kingdom, we'll give away a collector's edition of the game. Thank you so much for being here. Let's look into this. Now, one of my favorite YouTubers, really dating all the way back, I mean, at least a decade back at this point, if not more, is Kryzen X. He is... He, he's a dreamer, is what he is. He likes to take various old Nintendo games and reimagine them and often provide playable versions of them to the, his patrons in Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine's had a lot of work done to it over the years, lots of different versions. And so we've seen lots of different versions of Zelda games. And this time around, he dropped a video. You, you've literally been watching it this whole time of the Ocarina of Time Bottom of Well versus Dead Hand, uh, a new video that he premiered a couple of days ago. And it's awesome. Like, th this is what, it, when I look back on my childhood, what I remember Ocarina of Time actually looking like. Of course, we all know this is not what Ocarina of Time looks like, but it is what we thought at the time, right? Like, it was some of the like most realistic visuals that we've ever seen, right? I Look, calling Ocarina of Time a realistic looking game seems a bit taboo, but when I was a kid, that was realistic to us. So I'm, I, this is just an amazing experience. And the more I watch of this, the, the more I'm reminded of just how talented Kryzen X is. And the more I'm reminded about how badly we really could use Ocarina of Time in HD, if not HD, a full on remake. You see, they have technically remastered the game before, right? We got Ocarina of Time 3D and its successor, Majora's Mask, as Majora's Mask 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. And, and those are worthy versions of the game, absolutely worthy versions. But they're not perfect, and they don't really satiate my desire for something that looks a lot better. You know, the bottom of the well in Ocarina of Time is obviously one of the creepiest places in Zelda history, and something that makes you wonder how the heck Ocarina of Time got rated E for everyone. There's torture chambers down there. There's dead bodies. There's blood. It's insane. And seeing it in Unreal Engine 5 is just another level of creepy. Uh, obviously, there's a bit of embellishment over the original in here, a bit of a reimagining, but that's, that's what would happen if this was ever remade. I do wonder if this part of the game might just get cut out just for age rage, age rating purposes, but man, it, it looks absolutely incredible. Obviously, the Link model always looks fantastic and real, but the, the skeletons, the blood, the torture, Dead Hand itself. Look, he, he put up about 18 minutes of footage, and as far as I'm aware, it's not technically available for anyone to play. But what is interesting is just... This idea of getting Ocarina of Time in this way. Now, maybe Unreal Engine isn't the right way to go about it. Maybe we need to be looking at different engines or different companies. But Nintendo has used Unreal Engine. They used Unreal Engine in, of all games, you guys remember this? Yoshi's Crafted World. An internal Nintendo studio used Unreal Engine for Yoshi's Crafted World. Pretty crazy. Now, I'm not saying that they have to use Unreal Engine. There's a reason that a lot of people like to use it. it it's a bit easier to work with. There's a lot of documentation. 
But man, I'm I'm watching Link right now literally fight Dead Hand, and it is. I mean, this is awesome. This is almost better looking, not not just visually, but just from a gameplay experience than what it looked like in Ocarina of Time. It, it is incredible the work Cries and X has pulled off here. And it just makes me want this to be a real thing. I, I want this to, to happen. We need a 4K 60 FPS remade, not remastered, remade Ocarina of Time. And of course, if we're going to remake Ocarina of Time, you got to do it to Majora's Mask too. And can you imagine Termina? Termina in this style? Ugh! Ugh! Again, it would never happen, of course. Here's here, here's why it won't happen. If we ever got these games in HD or 4K, it's going to look more like the more colorful version of the game that we saw with Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D. And that's just the direction they're going to go because the reality is if Nintendo went with this hyper-realistic thing, the games would be rated too high. I, I do think people would go nuts. I think the games could sell really well. I don't think that's the reason. I think Nintendo's afraid of a game that used to be E for everyone, possibly getting a T rating, maybe even worse, especially since it has all that blood and creepiness in the bottom of the well. Heck, you know, Ganondorf bleeds, and you know they changed it from <laughs> red to green to uh, not upset the ESRB. So it, we know Nintendo's willing to make these kind of changes. I just... I really would love to see Ocarina of Time in this style, and I'm just going to kind of let you guys chill for a minute here, uh, enjoy the rest of this dead hand fight, and then, uh, you know what? You want to see the full unedited footage, go over to Cryzen X's channel. I'll put a link to the video down in the description. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you in that next one.